Hey everyone, I am back and I am so sorry it has been such a long time since I made a video. You know, the holidays and all of my friends are leaving for college again and I have actually been fighting a horrific sinus infection for a while so I just really haven't felt up to it this week. And unfortunately, I have more bad news to report. Um, I am not actually going to be around next week. Um, I won't be home. I am going to London on a business trip. London, England. Not like London weird places in the United States. Um, yeah, so I'm leaving Monday morning. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I'm leaving Monday morning and I'm spending like this whole weekend packing for the trip. So that's kind of lame. And I, <laughs> my camera's gonna fall. I was doing, um, Okay, sorry, my camera is about to fall, but um, anyway, so um, yeah, anyway, I packed all my makeup um, a couple nights ago because I was kind of stressing about how I was going to take it to England, because I usually have like a train case that I bring my makeup in wherever I go, and it's metal, and my dad was like, they're not going to let you on the plane with that, um, which isn't probably like super accurate, but since that whole stupid um, Christmas day thing, travel has gotten a little bit weird, so I'm not going to risk it, and so I packed it into two bags, and I'm actually going to go to, like, Walmart today and see if I can find something else to put my makeup in, because that was, that is not adequate. I feel like it's all going to break, and I don't want it to. So, anyway, yeah, I am packing, and <laughs> makeup's already packed, so I couldn't do any, like, makeup tutorials this week. Um, okay, so let's see, what else should I catch you up on? Um, my hair's a different color. It is no longer black which is great I didn't mind it black it was really easy easy to maintain because like all you need to do is buy, buy like a black dye um, my natural hair color is like an ashy light brown dirty blonde so black's like a little extreme for me I liked it I think most people I knew liked it um, my mom hated it uh, so yeah now my color is like a brown auburn thing with some highlights. Um, I like it. I think it's uh, much more flattering. I guess my mom was right. Um, but anyway, they're just like warm kind of colors or whatever, which is supposed to be really good for my skin tone and supposed to complement it a lot. So anyway, that's that. I basically just did it myself, which I don't know if it's like the best thing to do, but I bought like a box of hair dye lifter from the store and I actually should have gone back and got in a different one because as soon as like I was taking it apart and like putting everything together and mixing and stuff, I realized like this must have been sitting on the shelf for like years. And I should have known. Like the packaging looks like the models were from the eighties and stuff like that. So I should have known. I should have known. I should have gone back and I should have gotten something um newer and fresher and whatever. So it didn't really lift my hair color that much. Well it did. It just lifted it to a bright coppery red. Um, which I've always had a hard time like getting red out of my hair, but then I realized, guess what, I'm not alone, because red, I guess, has the, red hair dye is like the biggest molecules or whatever, and they really stick to your hair, something weird like that, so it is really, really difficult to remove, and there really isn't a color on, like, the box hair color market um, that kind of tones down red enough. Uh, anything with an ash in it is a blue base. So that's what I ended up having to do to like tone down the red, but um, blue and red make purple. So if you do that too often, if you're trying to cover up your red hair with like a blue ashy base, uh, there's a good chance that's going to turn like a mauve color, which you know is good for some people, but probably not what you're going for. Um, so what you really want to do is find a dye with a green base, but those are difficult to find. I don't really know if you can find them like on your supermarket shelves. Um, you may want to go to a beauty supply store and ask around for something like that. I probably will at some point, but I'm pretty good with this color right now. Um, yeah, and I, I never go to a salon and pay for getting my hair dyed. I mean, I have before. I have twice in my life, and both times I was like, oh my gosh, I could have totally done this for $20 at home. This is exactly what it looked like last time I dyed my hair. So, um, you know, if that's your preference and you don't want the responsibility of like doing your own hair, which I totally get, like go to a salon. Otherwise, save a couple hundred bucks and uh, do it yourself and just dye your hair smartly. Um, maybe I'll do something 
some point. If people are like interested in learning how to like pick colors and all that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's that's the new hair. Um, oh, and this is my really messy bedroom. That's my suitcase. I'm like trying to get all packed today. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let's see what else. Um, oh, when I'm in England, I have like these really grand plans to go shopping. Like I really was like, I was kind of saving up my money from like work and Christmas time to get like a Burberry scarf because you know, like, I don't know. I've just, I, who doesn't want one? Um, but they're super ridiculously expensive. And so like the more I was looking into it, the more I realized that like the U S dollar is worth nothing in England. And it would just be like absolutely absurd to try to buy a Burberry scarf. So I may wait until I get back and buy one here <laughs> um, and just tell people it's from London. But now my secret's out, whatever. Um, okay, and then I was going to go like shopping around like all these Mac stores because they're like a bunch or, like right in the middle of England where I'm staying. And they're all like two miles or something like that from my hotel, which is cool. And um, yeah, so then I was looking up the prices online today. And everything is just so inflated because of the US dollar versus the English British pound or whatever. Um, so like 13 pounds is like 20 bucks in America. And um, I guess my dad says like pounds spend like dollars in the UK. So um, you'll typically pay like, I don't know, like eight pounds for a burger or whatever, which you would pay like eight bucks for a burger here, like a nice, 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 not McDonald's. Um, but then like when we go over there, it's like a 15 buck burger, which sucks. Um, cause I don't have that much money. So I'm not going to be doing as much shopping as I was hoping. Um, but my other plan is that there is like a couple or there are a couple lush stores nearby and there aren't any around me at all. Um, there's one in Philadelphia, but um, I never feel like traveling all that way for Lush. And, oh, P.S., we don't have bathtubs. I mean, we have two. They're just broken, so, um, issues. Um, but anyway, so, ah, uh, plan. Okay, I'm going to go to the Lush stores and stock up for the week, and then every night I'm going to take a bath because our hotel rooms have bathtubs in them, which I think is brilliant, um, which in England just means good, but here it means amazing. So, anyway, that is what I'm doing, and... Um, yeah, so this might be my only video this weekend. I'm not really sure. I had like really big plans to do like a best of 2009 video and a room tour video because two of my subscribers asked for it and I don't have that many subscribers. So two out of like 50, that's like a, that's a okay, that's kind of substantial, I guess. And out of the people who comment, that's like really substantial. So anyway, at some point I'm going to be doing that. I don't know if I'll get to it this weekend. Um, yeah, but if there's anything else you guys want to see or uh, have any ideas for me when I get back from England, let me know. And until then, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, blessed week, and I will see you later. Bye.